this video, um, we will be uh, discussing on the introduction to some of the pericyclic reaction. So, in pericyclic reaction, there are three uh, common reaction, and the first one is the electrocyclic reaction. The second one is the cyclic addition reaction, and the third one is the sigma topic rearrangement. However, for this course, we will on, only cover electrocyclic reaction and cycloaddition reaction. So, there are some notes that need to be taken into consideration when we talk about pericyclic reaction. So, if we look at the uh, previous slide where uh, there are types of pericyclic reaction, so the first and the third one, which is electrocytic reaction and sigma tropic rearrangement, they involve intramolecular reactions, meaning that the electron or the reaction um, only involve in one molecule, but uh, this molecule undergoes some um, electron transfer within the molecule itself. Uh, another one, which is the cycloaddition reaction, it is an intermolecular reaction, so it involves two starting materials or two uh, reactants to give a product. However, although uh, they are different in terms of intramolecular and uh, intermolecular reactions, but all these three reactions has their own common features. The first one is a concerted reaction, meaning um, there is no formation of intermediates because the reaction occurs very fast. It only involves transition states. And then uh, number two, it is highly stereoselective, meaning that if a reaction um, produces a product, it is either trans or cis product. There won't be any mixture of cis and trans product because it is highly stereoselective. And the third one, uh, this type of reaction, they are not affected by catalyst. So you do not need any catalyst in order to carry out these types of reactions. However, when, when we produce the product, there are factors that influence the configurations of the product's form. The first factor is the configuration of the reactant. The second factor is the number of conjugated double bond or pairs of electron in the reacting system. Okay, when we talk about conjugated double bond, the double bond must be alternating. So this is an example of conjugated double bond. If the molecule looks like this, this is not conjugated double bond because the double bond is not continuous. And the third factor is whether the reaction is thermal or photochemical reaction. For thermal reaction, normally the reaction takes place without the absorption of light and it is normally uh, represented by this triangle symbol. In photochemical reaction, the reaction takes place when a reactant absorbs light. That's why in thermal reaction, uh, the electron is in ground state because it does not involve any UV. While photochemical reaction, um, the electron is in excited state because it involves the lights or UV. Okay, uh, electrocyclic reactions um, is also known as intramolecular reaction, meaning it only occur within the molecule itself. And normally, a new sigma bond is formed between the ends of the conjugated pi system. And this reaction is reversible, meaning uh, it depends on the condition, so it is reversible. And electrocyclic reaction normally involve these two process. The first one, it is ring closure. So ring closure involve conjugated polyene become cycloalkene. For example, if you have 
like this one poly in it will become routine for example okay and ring opening involve cycloalkene to conjugated poly in which is like this okay it is opposite to the ring closure so if we look at the following example here we try to classify whether this reaction are electrocyclic reaction or cycloaddition reaction okay you know that electrocyclic reaction involve ring opening and ring closing when it involve ring opening and ring closing it is electrocyclic reaction and it only involve one molecule okay let's take a look at a so this is ring and now this is no longer a ring so this is cycloalkene and this is polyalkene polyene so uh, in this case the ring is open so it is electrocyclic reaction okay if we look at b b involve two molecules or two starting material and it does not show any ring closing or ring opening so it is cycloaddition reaction okay if we look at c it has poly conjugated poly in here conjugated poly in which is close to give cycloalkene so this is an example of electrocyclic reaction so in the next video we will explain on the we will discuss on the details of electrocyclic reaction and the condition that are required to carry out the reaction